Hey everyone, Dave Jeffries here from Modern Structure, and we're here with Multi Home to install their new easy tiling system. We're looking forward to transforming this garage. Let's get started. Recycle tires for a greener tomorrow. First, used tires are collected when their treads are too low for safe driving. The rubber is removed and crumbed into tiny pieces. We use this crumb rubber to make useful new products for the home and garden. The great thing about installing these tiles is that it's super easy. All you really need is a mallet and utility knife. However, the tiles do fit very snugly together, and the reason for this is because when you drive your car in, you want to make sure that nothing shifts around. So really, the easiest way to install this is to set up a T-pattern. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep it going straight along the length of the garage, as well as the width. Once you've established that T, you can go around and fill in each quadrant. The easiest way to install these tiles is to start from the middle of the tile and work your way out, hitting the tiles on an angle. Although the straight edge isn't necessary to install, it's a great way to finish off the garage. Because it's so low profile, you can easily drive your car in or any of your outdoor tools, like a lawnmower or a garden cart. So sometimes we come across a scenario where we need to notch around a set of stairs. In this particular example, we need to notch around this, set of, this staircase, and on the right hand side, we need to notch in right behind the stairs. So what I would typically do here is I would take the tile and I would butt it up right against the bottom of the stairs, take a pen, go and mark the space that I need to cut around that tile, slide the tile over, making sure it's still butt up snug against the bottom of the stairs, take my tape measure from the finished edge here, put your tape measure, and from the finished edge of the tile that you're gonna be cutting, mark it to here. You've got about four and three quarter inches. Now you can measure out the amount that you need to notch around this, the base of this tile. So what I would do is I would then take my tape measure, take the pen, mark right there, and then I can take my straight edge, put it across the tile, and mark where I need to cut it. It's that easy. Use two colors to make a checkerboard look or a border. And that's a wrap. It's easy to install, easy to finish, and super easy to maintain. <laughs>